An urgent emergency has been declared in Benton County, Washington, after a tunnel collapsed at the Hanford Plutonium Uranium Extraction Plant in Washington State, where radioactive contaminants have now forced workers and residents to immediately evacuate the area. First responders are now actively at the scene, and the U.S. Department of Energy is advising people in the area to immediately take cover and refrain from eating or drinking until an adequate assessment of just how much radioactive contaminants have been leaked can be determined. Right now, authorities believe that a crew doing road work nearby was responsible, after they created enough vibration to cause the tunnel to completely collapse. The Hanford plant was established as part of the Manhattan Project several years back, and is now home of the first full-scale plutonium production reactor. The plant was later expanded to nine nuclear reactors during the Cold War and has produced plutonium for over 60,000 nuclear weapons. The plant is now the site that contains two-thirds of our nation's radioactive waste and is the most contaminated place in the United States. Thankfully, no injuries have been reported, but that could soon change if it's later determined that a radiological release occurred due to the contamination of what the plant leaked during the tunnel collapse. For those who were exposed, they should immediately watch for the following signs of radiological poisoning, as symptoms can happen immediately, while other symptoms have a delayed onset. Via CBS News, nausea and vomiting Nausea and vomiting are typically the earliest symptoms of radiation sickness. The higher the dose of radiation, the sooner these symptoms appear, and the worse the prognosis. Someone who starts to vomit within one hour of exposure is likely to die. Sometimes people with radiation sickness feel bad at first and then start to feel better. But often new, more serious symptoms appear within hours, days, or even a few weeks of this latent stage. Spontaneous bleeding radiation sickness can cause bleeding from the nose, mouth, gums, and rectum. It can cause people to bruise easily and to bleed internally as well, and even to vomit blood. The problems occur because radiation depletes the body of platelets the cellular fragments in the blood that are form clots to control bleeding. Bloody diarrhea radiation targets cells in the body that reproduce rapidly, and that includes cells that line the intestinal tract. Radiation sickness causes major irritation of the intestinal lining, resulting in severe and sometimes bloody diarrhea. Sloughing of skin areas of skin exposed to radiation may turn blister and turn red, almost like a severe sunburn. In some cases open source form. The skin may even slough off. Hair loss radiation damages hair follicles. As a result, people who get a big dose of radiation often lose their hair within two to three weeks. Sometimes the loss of hair is permanent. Severe fatigue radiation sickness can cause people to feel weak and out of sorts, almost like having a bad version of the flu. It can dramatically reduce the number of red blood cells, causing anemia and an increased risk of fainting. Mouth ulcers radiation sickness can cause visible ulcers in or on the mouth. In addition, ulcers often form in the esophagus, stomach, and intestines infections along with red cells. Radiation sickness can reduce the risk of infection fighting white cells in the body. As a result, the risk of bacterial, viral, and fungal infections is heightened. King 5 has more details on this breaking story. Hundreds of workers were in take cover position after a tunnel in a plutonium uranium extraction, Purex, plant collapsed at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation early Tuesday morning. The AP reports no workers were in the tunnel at the time of collapse. Workers at the site have now been evacuated. Workers farther away were told to remain indoors. I would underscore this is confined to a small area of the Hanford site, Destry Henderson. Deputy News Manager for the Hanford Joint Information Center, told NBC News. There are no reports of injuries, no reports of a radiological release. The tunnel was full of highly contaminated materials such as hot radioactive trains that transport fuel rods. It connects to a Purex, plutonium-uranium extraction, building. The facility does have radiological contamination right now but there is no indication of a radiological release. Henderson said. A manager sent a message to all personnel telling them to secure ventilation in your building and refrain from eating or drinking. Randy Bradbury, a spokesman for the Washington State Department of Ecology, told the AP there apparently has been no release of radiation and no workers were injured. A source said that crews doing road work nearby may have created enough vibration to cause the collapse.
A source also said that VIT plant employees are in cover mode as well. The AP reports there are concerns about subsidence in the soil covering railroad tunnels. Responding agencies include the U.S. Department of Energy, Richland, West Richland, and Kennewick City Fire and Police, Benton, Franklin, and Grant County Fire and Police officials, Washington State Patrol, and Oregon and Washington State officials. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.